اليوسف His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Ambassador of Germany to Bahrain Kai Borkman and the Chartered Affairs of the United States to Bahrain Margaret Nardi at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of strategic ties between Bahrain and the U.S. and noted the importance of expanding joint coordination and cooperation across various fields. His Royal Highness also highlighted the growing ties between Bahrain and Germany, emphasizing the importance of further strengthening bilateral relations and cooperation. He underscored the importance of further enhancing joint international cooperation in light of the exceptional circumstances presented by the global spread of COVID-19 to continue to support global efforts aimed at eradicating the virus. His Royal Highness expressed his appreciation for the mutually beneficial cooperation shared between Bahrain, USA and Germany in combating COVID-19 and facilitating the provision of vaccines within the kingdom, which will contribute to safeguarding the health of all. The meeting also provided an opportunity to review regional and international issues of common interest. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for the Yazena chaired the week Council's weekly meeting. The Council approved and referred to the government the following recommendations and reports. A recommendation concerning allowing public sector employees to obtain a commercial registry. A report submitted by the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee concerning the deposit of profits of state-owned companies into the state's public accounts. A report on the regulation of the use of drones submitted by the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee. A report on the regulation of the labor market aimed at increasing the period set for the foreign worker to spend with an employer as a condition for the right to move to another employer from one to three years. A report aimed at form formulating a comprehensive law to regulate sports affairs. Finally, the Council approved the issuance of a statement in support of the measures adopted to commence bilateral talks between Bahrain and Qatar in implementation of Al Ula Declaration to resolve outstanding issues, the most important of which is Bahraini fishermen. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced that it had sent an invitation to its Qatari counterpart to send an official delegation to Bahrain as soon as possible to start bilateral talks between the two sides on issues and pending matters in order to implement the Ula Declaration issued by the 41st session of the Supreme Council of the GCC held in Saudi Arabia for the benefit of the citizens of the two countries and for strengthening joint Gulf action. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Al Rashid Al Zayani, addressed the Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman Al Thani in which he expressed pleasure to extend sincere greetings and appreciation, along with wishes for his continued health, wellness and success. He affirmed that Bahrain has formed two committees, a follow-up committee and a legal committee, as stipulated in Al-Ula statement. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomed the decision of the United States to designate the Houthi group as terrorist organization and its leaders as terrorists. It described the move as a necessary step to end the group's serious violations towards the brotherly Yemeni people and its persistence to undermine regional security and stability and implementation of the agenda of the Iranian regime that supports it. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs commended the great efforts exerted by the U.S. to ensure peace, security and stability in the region and the whole world, as well as combat terrorism and extremist organizations. It also stressed the great importance of the decision to designate the Houthi militia as a terrorist organization and the need for the international community to take similar measures against this terrorist group. It pointed out the group's vicious assaults against the Yemeni people and neighboring countries, its threat to international navigation and its continued obstruction of all efforts aimed at reaching a lasting peace and a political solution that preserves the unity and territorial integrity of Yemen. Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl Bainin received the Acting Advocate General and Head of the Special Investigation Unit Muhammad Khalid al hazza who presented the SIU Annual Report for 2020. Dr. Bainin praised the SIU's role in protecting human rights within the criminal justice system and carrying out its duties with complete independence in line with the provisions of law and international principles. He also lauded its commitment to national and international behavioral and professional codes related to its work as well as its keenness to develop its professional prog prerogative and pr the provide all legal and procedural guarantees and investigations.
The second leg of the Dakar Rally Marathon stage was a 709 km stage from Sakaka to Nyon, made up of 334 km of road and 375 km of special stage driving. After essential work to both cars the night before, Roma and Loeb set out from Sakaka towards Nyon. Loeb encountered two punctures during stage 8 but did not have enough spare wheels to be able to continue and was forced to retire from the stage and as a result this year's Dakar Rally. Nani Roma, on the other hand, continued his consistent run through Stage 8, highlighting the hunter's speed to finish just outside the top 10 and 11th. Stage 9 of the Dakar Rally is a looped stage, leaving and returning to Neom, 574 km in total, with 109 km of road and 465 km of special stage driving. Stranger stage for us. Uh, yesterday, we don't have the D5, uh, SEP having troubles also. We are only the car in the truck. It's uh, it really. I, I try to start drive safe, but I don't feel the, the the feeling. After we find the crash, the biker crash, and we stop to help. Uh, we wait the helicopter arrive, but after many cars pass, you know, it's a not easy day. But we are here. We are happy, and uh, yeah, one day more. And yeah, the hunter is okay. And now we need to to check everything. But yeah, we are happy. So nice, yeah, yeah, it's it run nice, but you don't have many times. A lot of rocks, you know, to manage. But uh, yeah, uh, sometimes when we arrive, the landscape is really beautiful. We know from last year, but no, we have a lot of focus and energy and, and, and try to don't have punctures and uh, that's it. But, but it's a nice, really nice place, yeah. Now we had uh, two punctures today. Uh, it's a, bit, uh, a few days now that we struggle with uh, different things. We. We broke a, a wishbone on the rear two days ago. We lost 10 hours. Uh, yesterday we had a, a wheel bearing that that uh, was broken in the stage, so we had to change it, change it ourselves again two hours. So for sure it was not going very well. And, uh, and the yesterday in evening it was the in the evening it was the uh, marathon uh, service. So we had to change everything ourselves except we can have the help of of our truck that is following in the stage and uh, this truck was uh, stuck in the stage yesterday so we didn't have it yesterday night we had to do what we could with what we had so we started the stage this morning with only three brakes uh, only one spare wheel because uh, the second one i gave it to to nani roma who is still in the in the game so we, we try to give the priority to his car and and now we had two punctures, so no spare wheel anymore, uh, a lot of kilometers to do, though, so no chance, I think, to, to reach the end of the stage. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,878, with 283 recoveries and 321 registered new cases. 162 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 152 are contacts of active cases and 7 are travel related. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.